today I'm going to bring you in a little bit, a little bit closer to show you my sunglass collection. Well, gosh, not that close. Hey guys, it's Jess from She's the Posh. Welcome back. And today I'm going to be sharing with you my designer sunglass collection. I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday, all designer and fashion related. I love sharing with you all my tips and tricks. If that's something you're into, please remember to hit subscribe below and ring that bell so we can become best friends here on the internet. Okay guys, I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer here and I'm just gonna quickly, like I'm gonna show you my sunglasses, try them on. A lot of these sunglasses might not be available anymore, but I will put similar styles and stuff down below. So basically I'm gonna be showing you my sunglass collection and all the personalities that go with them. And I also wanted to show you real quick, like if you hadn't seen my last video, this is like how I store my sunglasses right here. Great organizational tip that I had. So I'll put that video down below for you. But if you hear that sound, that is me just pulling these out of my drawers. First, I'm gonna start, I have so many Ray-Bans. So we're just going, it's not really a rhyme or reason to this, but I'm just gonna like pull out my Ray-Bans. So I have three Aviator brands. So this is just the classic like tan. And Aviators, the polarized, very cute, very chic. I feel like Aviators like complement any face. Gorgeous, simple, and they go with everything. Very casual. They're not really dress up per se, but I definitely feel cool and fabulous. And my dad said when I wear these, he feels like he's always being pulled over. I also have them in this beautiful mirrored green. Found these on Gosh, Poshmark, I think these were like 40 bucks or so. They did have some scratches and things on them, but I don't care, they're absolutely fabulous. Love the mirrored green, gorgeous. Love the vibe of these. And then I have them in this beautiful mirrored blue. I had them in the mirrored blue first. My son loves when I wear these because he likes like checking himself out in the reflection and blue is one of his favorite colors. Other Ray-Bans I have, these are the classic Club Master ones. So these are just like black. These are unisex, because I know my husband sometimes wears these. That's why I justify getting some of these sunglasses because like my husband can wear them too, right? Look, it's for both of us. That's the lies I tell myself. But I love these Club Masters, very cute, very chic. I feel very preppy when I'm wearing these particular ones right here. And I think these are the last Ray-Bans that I have. These are super cute. I just got them. Like my husband wanted a new pair of Ray-Bans. He had the Wayfair one. So it was like buy one, get one 50% off. So obviously I was forced to buy another pair. So I went with these. I forget what these are called, but they're really gorgeous. I love the circle with this detail right here. They weren't super expensive. One of the reasons I like Ray-Bans, I want to say these are around 180 and I got them like 50% off. So pretty good steal with these ones. I also have a pair of Kate Spade. I really love these. I forgot who I saw these on, but I saw these on an influencer and I instantly like added to my cart. I found it on Amazon on sale. I want to say these were only $80 on Amazon, but I think they originally like 150. They might still have them. They have them in the black, but I like them in the, in this tortoise shell print right here. I feel extra. I feel fabulous. I feel chic. And I feel like they look really expensive, even though they weren't. They were a great price. Next, since I'm doing some oversize, I'm going to go with Chloe. So I do not wear these sunglasses enough, these ones, because these really, these Chloe right here, the Chloe oversized like aviators, they're really cool and chic, but they don't really give you much sun protection at all. Like, like none. You can't spy on people because they can still see your eyes. So like that ruins that game for me. Because they don't block out your eyes, like people still feel like they can talk to you <laughs> kind of thing. Like, so I can't wear these in days. I'm like, oh, I don't want to deal with people or I need sun protection. I'm just, this is like a look, mostly photographs, but I didn't spend much money on these. I think these, I got these secondhand for like $80 or $90 on Poshmark. Came with everything. It was one of those things because Chloe sunglasses definitely go on sale. You can find them really cheap, new. Then I ended up getting upset because I found them around the same price, like brand new later on. So I could have got them brand new for the same exact price instead of used. But these are super cute. They're a vibe, they're a look, but they're definitely not giving me sun protection at all. Now this pair, I mean, I don't go to festivals. I don't do anything like that, but you always see people wearing 
these Chloe sunglasses. The big oversized, like you get this classic 70s vibe. I liked wearing these. I went on our cruise earlier this year and I just loved the look of it, the vibes, the 70s chic. You gotta wear a big bright lip with this. You gotta have your hair teased up. Maybe you have a big glamorous like scarf or something like that. Like they're, they are a vibe. They are you know, a different personality when you wear these, but I got these for a great deal. I think I got these for $60 to $65 on Rue La, one of my favorite places to buy sunglasses. So yeah, you can definitely get yourself some gorgeous sunglasses, especially Chloe ones, on sale, never buy them full price. There's so many other places that you can shop from to get these. So yes, love these. Celine, these are, I forget what these ones are called. These are kind of like the classic Celine pair here. I got these for $100 on Poshmark. Came with everything. It was one of those things. It was in good condition, but I have since like, I need to fix these because I since like messed them up, like bent them. I think my son got a hold of these. But these are like such classic. These are like my movie star sunglasses. I feel like I should be wearing like a scarf covering my head in a drop top, very dramatic, bright red lip. And I always feel like my mommy chicness is these sunglasses, a red lip, and of course, some cute leggings. And then just throw a Chanel over your arm, right? Mommy chic. These ones, I showed you these in my haul video. These are some Dolce & Gabbana cat eye. And I've seen these, that they're bringing this back in the Vogue magazine recently. And I just felt like you can't go wrong with a cat eye. I feel like it complements everybody. It's chic, it's fabulous, and don't you go on and bring it back every year. And I got these for $60 from The Real Real, and also they usually retail around like $280, around that thing, and then you could always find these on sale, like Rue La had them for like a little over 100 bucks. So very classic style that if you invest in a pair of these, like they're never going out of style, like ever. These right here, these are the, the specs. I think with this Lolita, Lolita, like extreme, like this one, the little sunglasses were going like very popular. I got these this past, I think it was like summer going into fall because they were on sale. I want to say I got these for like, oh gosh, like 60 or $70. So pretty cute. They had one that they had that came out. I forget what store it was. It was like Nordstrom or Neiman Marcus, like special for them that had pearls around it. And I could not find that one. Like I wanted to find that one but I ended up going with these because I couldn't find the one with the pearls around it. So if you know where I can find that, please let me know. But I feel like even these, even though these are like super popular and they're not as popular anymore, I still feel like this is still cute. I, I, I feel like I can get away with this, even though it's like a small sunglass. Again, it's the cat eye look, which is always cute and fabulous. So you just need this and a red lip and a drop top and you're good to go. I only have one pair of Chanel sunglasses right here. I got these for a really great deal. I got, it's one of those things that I kind of like added on with a purchase I was buying from, it was from Poshmark. And it's like, it had tweed and it was the blue and I thought it was kind of cute. So basically these cost me like 40 or 50 bucks, came with a case and everything because I had bought something else and it just bundled everything together and added these to cart. So very cute, classic. I love Chanel sunglasses. I would love to get some with the pearls, the pearls like hanging down, but even secondhand, I find Chanel sunglasses really expensive and I'm not sure if I'm ready to pay like, you know, $300 or over. I mean, I don't really pay over $200 for my sunglasses. So I'm not sure if I'm ready to take that leap at all. But yeah, so these are my little, I dip my toe into Chanel. Next, we have my Fendi Zucca cat eye sunglasses. These don't fit because of the extreme cat eye. They don't fit in my actual little case thing, so I have to keep them in their case. But seriously, guys, I love these. I saw these. Who had these sunglasses? I'm trying to remember. I who I saw these on, and I absolutely loved them. And she wasn't sure if she was gonna keep them, so I was like, oh, let me have them. And then she fell in love with them. And I was like, oh, she found them on Rue La La. Who was it? I can't remember. I'll put her name down below if I remember. Um, but she found these on Rue La La and I went back and they weren't there. I was like, oh, I missed them, darn it. And then I just kept looking every once in a while and then these popped up again on Rue La La. These were like $120, $130. They have some that are like all black and stuff like this, but I really like these with the F's here on the side, the 
you know, the zucker prints all around. They're extra, they're extreme, but they still have that classic like cat eye. If you haven't told from my sunglasses, like I like to be a little extra with them. I like to have fun with them. Yes, I have some classic subtle prints, but I just think that you should have fun with them. Wear a bright lip like this, you know, feel fabulous. Like who cares what people think of you? They're gonna see this and I'm like, girl, wow, I love that. Like you are someone that I want to talk to, get to know go hang out with and party with. That's what these sunglasses remind me of right here. We're down to the last three guys. I know I'm just starting to get a little parched. Are also La Spec. I saw these on Mel Sedaro. She has an even bigger sunglass addiction than I do, like even bigger. But I saw these on her and I, my husband had given these for my birthday last year. I wanna say these were around $80, $90. Very cute, again, a classic style. I really liked that fact that they were like the cat eye, but they were a little bit different little bigger they kind of gave me like aviator cat eye vibe love the classic gold and stuff on the side perfect and very inexpensive and great sunglasses they actually protect you from the sun and the last two i i revealed to you in my spring haul these are the saint laurent heart sunglasses that i got for a little over 100 dollars. i want to say they were 120 or so these ones i had bought i'm no longer buying amazon knockoff pieces. It's something that, you know, I made for my resolution, but I had worn, I had bought the knockups last year that I had for this. They were like $10, $50 and I wore them all the time. So when these were a little over $120, I was just like, oh my goodness. Like I wore those all the time. I felt like investing in the right pair. And it's just like when you wear like the quality sunglasses, there is a difference. Like it fits really well around my face. The shape is even like more chic. And I've since like just donated the other pair of sunglasses. So yeah, I love these. And if you can find them on sale, they're on sale now. Just, I mean, I know they're extra, just like they're so fabulous. You wanna put a price on fabulous, I guess it's like 120 or 130 bucks. That's what the price of fabulous is. And last, I believe these are my most expensive sunglasses because these were like around 180. And these are just extra, but it's needed, right? You saw these, this is the JLo made me do it. I saw these sunglasses on her. And then other influencers putting this on. So these are the Gucci like oversized. Um, I believe these are the square frame. They're black. They come in different colors. And I found these on, I believe it was Jama Shop. Again, I saw these. I think they were like 180 or something like that. And I could not find them for much cheaper than that. Even second hands. They were on $300, over $200. And I don't really pay over $200 for sunglasses. So when these are 180 and I just, they were the color that I wanted. It was just like. I hadn't tried them on. I didn't know if these were going to be fabulous. It was, I never tried them on because I didn't see them anywhere. And it was one of those risks, but I feel like you may think I look crazy, but I do. I feel like this is a vibe. I feel like it's like, don't talk to me. I'm too cool for you. Like I will go for walks, like in my mom uniform, which is basically leggings, maybe an oversized top to the side with a sports bra. But I throw this on and I feel like I got a little swagger. I'm pushing that stroller with a little bit of a little extra swagger with these things right here. Okay guys, we made it through my sunglass collection. I will have everything that's linkable down below. If not, I'll just try to find some similar stuff. But again, you don't have to pay full price for sunglasses. I'm gonna put links to some of my favorite places, shop sunglasses. I like to buy them secondhand and brand new for my favorite website. So I'll have those down below for you as well. And as always, I wanna thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again. Bye guys.